All right, so let's move on to keywording and keyword lists. So let's expand both those panels on the right. And those panels are numbered two and three from where they appear in this list. So we're gonna hit Control-2 or Command-2 on a Mac and Control-3 or Command-3 on a Mac to expand both of those panels. Now, there's a few different ways we can enter in keywords. The most basic is to select an image, go right to here to click to add keywords, and we're gonna type in something. So we're gonna type in venue on this image. For this next one, we actually previously added the Paulus Verdes keyword in a previous tutorial, but I also, add, I also want to add on a keyword for landscape, so I'm going to put in landscape right here. Once again, with this image, I want to type in Paulus Verdes and landscape. It already has landscape on it, so I just need to add Paulus Verdes. Another way I can add keywords is by typing it in here or simply modifying it up here. So I can just add a comma behind this and say Paulus Verdes, and it'll automatically autofill the rest of that keyword because we have that option selected in our preferences. I'm going to do one more. We're going to go to this next one, and I'm going to set this one as couples. We'll just type it in right here. And then we'll go down right here, and we'll select this one and say guys. We're just creating a little base set of keywords that we can kind of take a look at, and we'll show you guys how to apply these keywords to different images in quicker manners. So the next way to apply keywords is to use the keyword suggestions, and this is just going to pull it from frequently used keywords that we have used in this catalog. So if I come across another landscape image, let me scroll down, we'll say that this is a landscape image, I'm going to mark it as keyword landscape. I can also mark it as couples, so we're going to select couples as well. And you can see both those keywords now get added to the keyword grouping. So we can keep going, this is a guy, so we're going to put guys, here we have guys. So we can go through and select based on these keyword suggestions. Now, you can also select on keyword sets. So a keyword set is basically a grouping of keywords that you guys would set on your own. So here's how you can create them. We have presets for outdoor, portrait, and wedding photography. These might actually be presets that come with Lightroom. I forgot if they come standard. I know it took them over from Lightroom 3, so I don't remember if these came standard or if we made these. But either way, it doesn't really matter. Let's go to Edit Set. So we're going to go to Edit Set. You're going to type in the nine keywords that you want for a particular set. Now, I wish we could have more, but we can't. We're limited to nine. So what we do is, if we were, maybe if we're a nature photographer, we're going to type in, uh, we'll say landscape, we'll say wide landscape. I don't know what you guys' workflow would be. This is kind of ridiculous, but you guys get the point. And we'll say uh, animals, plants, whatever we want. And then what we're going to do is when we finish, we click on preset, we go down to save current settings and new preset, and we're going to save this as LR4 tutorials. We hit create, and then we go just close this box right now. And now we get the LR4 tutorials preset that appears now in our keyword set. So when I select that, I have these keywords that we just modified available to apply to my images. And again, I would apply them by just clicking them as I go through. So if you want to edit, change, or delete any of these presets, just simply select a preset, go to edit, or rename, or delete, or do whatever you want to those presets. But just know that you can set up these different groupings based on what you shoot and what works in your workflow. All right, so let's move on to keyword lists. Now, a keyword list is basically a list of all the different keywords that at one point have been used in this catalog. Now, if there's a number next to it, that means that these images are currently keyworded with that keyword. But if the number is a zero, that means that there's no keywords, there's no images that are marked with that keyword in this catalog. So let's add a few right now. So we can also add keywords to images just by selecting an image. Uh, let's go down, we'll pick another image that has a couple in it. And we'll just check off right next to couples that this is a couples keyword image. And it's going to add it to the couples keywording. I'm going to select this image, do the exact same thing. If I select an image and it's already checked off like this, we know that that image is already marked with the couples keyword. So if I click check again, it's going to actually remove it from that image. So let's put it back on. And then on the right side of these lists, you can see the number and then right next to it is an arrow. And what this does is it automatically creates a filter that just shows those images that are within that keyword. So if I hit that, you'll see it pull up these four images. Now, how do we know that that's a filter? Because if I pull up my filter uh, menu, which is, if you guys remember, you hit backslash to get there. We did that a few tutorials ago. It pulls up filters, and you can see automatically that keyword is selected, and couples is the one that's uh, chosen, which just means that all we're doing when we click on one of these options is just changing the library filter to filter by that keyword. So it's a quick way to filter, and you can also filter by the same way by using the actual fil library filter menu here. All right, so we're going to hit backslash to close up the library filter menu. 
our filter is still on and so what we can do is just click on originals to show everything. Alright, now we can also add keywords to multiple images at once and it's very simple. All you need to do is make a grouping of images. We can group images up that are out of order by hitting control and just selecting random images or command on a Mac by the way. And then with all these images selected, you just choose one of the keywords and it will automatically apply it to all these images. You can use the same thing by clicking on uh, keyword suggestions or the keyword set. Now we can also do it by holding shift to select a grouping of photos in order. So we would just hold shift and I'm going to have this one selector right here. I'm just going to hold shift and click on this image right here and it will select those 10 images in order. And now we can do the exact same thing. We can apply a keyword however we want by checking it off or by applying it with this keyword suggestions or keyword set lists. You can also type it in if you want. But basically once you have typed in a keyword once in your catalog, there's really no reason to keep typing in over and over. Just use it from the keyword suggestions or from your keyword list below or create a set if it's a keyword that you use frequently. That way it will save you quite a bit of time. Alright, so let me show you guys how you would manage and organize your keyword list. So basically we have a few different options with the keyword list. We can rename, we can edit, we can do whatever we want with these keywords and it's going to apply it to all the images that have those keywords applied. So let's just take one set. Let's just make this group. We'll take those images that we just selected. I'm going to hold shift again, select those same 10. We're going to create, uh, we'll just for the sake of this tutorial, we'll create a new keyword called temporary. Now we go down our keyword list and it gets added to temporary. Now if I right click on temporary, I have a few different options. I can remove these keywords from the selected photos or I can add to the selected photos. So it's another way of adding and removing, but I can also edit this keyword tag. If I click that, it's going to bring up this dialog box, which lets me edit the keyword name. Now editing the keyword name will actually change the keyword on all the images that are applied. So if I type in temporary two, it's going to change all of these images to being tagged under temporary two and we have the same grouping right here. So we're changing that keyword and it applies to all the images that are automatically marked with that keyword. Now one other option in this edit keyword tag is the synonyms. Now synonyms are really useful because you might have uh, an image that is a landscape but you might forget that you use that keyword tag landscape. Maybe in the next one you call it a, an, an urban scene or maybe in the next scene you call it like a wide landscape or whatever. Using synonyms will make it so that when you sort by filters and you type in something, it's going to look up everything by the synonyms as well. So if maybe you don't get the keyword name exactly right, but you do pick one of those synonyms, then it's still going to pop up in a filter. So it's basically another way to make keywording more manageable. Now we have a few other options when it comes to keyword tag options here. We can choose not to include any of these on the export. We can contain only the keywords, the synonyms, or we can do everything. So just options if you guys don't want to include keywords as you're exporting images. It's up to you guys. All right, so let's choose edit so that we keep the changes that we made and let's go back to our keyword menu by right clicking on temporary. The next option that we have is to create a keyword tag, which is basically just creating a keyword. It's another way to create a keyword or to create a keyword tag inside temporary. And so this is the option that we talked about previously where you can create keyword hierarchies. And so we can create another keyword within this keyword. So we'll call this uh, temp kid just because it's a child. And we have this creation options where we can put it inside of temporary two and we can add it to the photos that are selected. We'll choose that as well. We'll hit create and then it's automatically going to create another keyword inside of temporary with these images as well. Now the next item on our list is to delete and we're going to delete actually both of these keywords. So what I'm going to do is select the parent and I'm going to hit delete on the parent and I want to remove the temporary keyword. It's not going to delete images but just the keyword. So we're going to remove that and that removes the child as well. Now if you guys find use for these next two options, go for it. I don't find that much use in my workflow, but one option is to put new keywords inside of this keyword, which just will add new keywords to whatever keyword you automatically set any, uh, in here. So it's kind of like setting a target like we did with collections, but for keywords. You can also say to use this keyword as a shortcut. And when you select that, you're going to see a little plus that gets added to that keyword. And whenever you use the keyword shortcut, which is shift S, it's going to apply those keywords to whatever that value is. So you're basically setting a target for that keyword shortcut. And you can see all 10 of those images have now been added to this venue plus uh, because that is the active uh, keyword shortcut right now. If we unselect it, then that keyword shortcut will no longer add them to this specific keyword. Now the last option we have is to export these photos as a catalog. Once again, we can have another way of exporting a selection of images as a separate catalog from Lightroom. So you guys should understand what that was from a previous uh, chapter when we talked about exporting and all that stuff. Alright guys, so let's jump out of this. I'm going to show you one other way that's really easy to add keywords. 
And if you guys remember, we just went over the toolbar, which had the painter function. So let's go back to the toolbar, and we have that painter tool right here. We're going to select the painter tool. If you guys don't see it, just go over to the right side. Make sure that you have the painter viewable in your toolbar. Go back to the left. We're going to select the painter tool, and now we're going to paint on keywords. So all we got to do is select keywords. We enter in a keyword that we want to paint, and we'll just type in venue. And I'm just going to select more venue images, and we're just going to sit here painting keywords onto these images. Okay, so this is yet another way that you can apply keywords quickly. Once again, we can also spray and apply it to multiple images at once and get all these images in that one keyword. So just another way you guys can apply keywords in your workflow so you guys kind of pick what works best for you. So let's do a little bit of keyword management now. We're going to remove all of our keywords. I'm going to show you guys an, an easy way to do that. So we're going to hit T to toggle the toolbar again. We don't need it right now. I'm going to hit Control A to select all of my images or Command A on a Mac. We're going to go up to this keyword uh, box right here and we're going to take all of our keywords, hit Control A again, uh, and it's going to select everything. So Command A on a Mac. We're going to hit Delete and delete all the keyword tags for all the images. Hitting enter right now is going to set that setting that we just did and it removes all the keywords from all of our images. If we go into that keyword list we see everything is set to zero. Now if you want to remove an item from the keyword list we talk about how you can go here and delete it but it's pretty time consuming to sit here and delete every single one of these keywords that don't have any images in them. So a quick way to get to that is to get up to your metadata file menu and go down to purge unused keywords and what this is going to do is going to reset the keyword list for all keywords that don't have any images assigned to them. So if we hit purge it removes everything and we have a reset keyword list and we can start all over and do it however we like. Alright so I'm going to hit control D to deselect everything and hopefully at this point you guys understand keywording, keyword lists, and how to manage your keywords.